Hello my friend, this is a short video about strategy and stats. So a uh, commentary was that I should predict over under in some leagues and I answered that you don't ask Usain Bolt to run a marathon because he can do it but he won't win and that's the same with me and over under predictions I can do it for sure but you won't win with these picks because I'm not profitable with over under. My special discipline is Asian Handicap and that's a point I want to mention that uh, no one even maybe some of the best all-rounders can predict every special sort of an outcome of a game. Because if you want to be profitable in sports betting with one or the other strategy, you have to focus on, on one thing that works. And for me, what works is Asian Handicap. And Asian Handicap Zero especially, I can vary my strategy to Asian Handicap minus 0.25 maybe and Asian Handicap minus 1 but uh, this is always the same strategy which is uh, this strategy is based on and if I go more risk um, I have uh, higher streaks and higher swings and if I go low risk which means Asian Handicap 0 is the lowest uh, risk in, uh, I want to take. Uh, I also can take double chance but this means also very high risk for small profits and that's why my best bet is Asian Handicap Zero. So I'm a specialist for that uh, betting type and if someone mixes up different types of bets like over under then three way then Asian handicap then corners and something like that you can be sure that this person is not profitable at all because if you mix up it's a hell of a of a um, yeah of a problem because you have to develop different strategies and go um, yeah about thousand picks on each of these types and develop strategies in each of these types and it's hard enough to have one <laughs> good strategy to work. I've been doing this for several years now and I saw some success in developing over and especially under strategies and was profitable with that some years ago I was betting on under 1.5 goals because this happens a lot in football and the odds are really high. That's why we find a value in under 1.5. But uh, to find good odds I had to do a lot of work, uh, to collect a lot of data, to calculate a lot and develop my strategy and to deploy my strategy I also had to uh, grab a lot of data and so this strategy was profitable but it took a lot of time that's why I throw it away um, after I found another uh, strategy which was not that profitable but it was way less time consuming and that's why I focused on the other strategy then and this was uh, just um, betting on ice hockey but the problem with ice hockey is that you have uh, so less games and uh, no really um, big uh, money in the game. That's why I wanted to bet on football and be profitable on football. And uh, after I achieved that, um, I throw away my ice hockey strategy. No matter that it was very, very prof profitable, but only uh, in a fraction of the picks I can make with football because there are thousands of football games every day and there are about 100, not even maybe 10 really attractive good ice hockey games a day. So uh, that's a complete different thing. So I have to bet for a thousand years to achieve what I can achieve in my life now with football if I want to have the same results with ice hockey because there are not that many possible 
bets and if you're profitable even if it's only one percent you want to put as much money in the market as you can and to make as much bets a day as possible and for me that uh, are around uh, 10 to 50 maybe even 100 bets a day if it's a good saturday like today i have a lot of bets running and I want to put all my money in the market in, uh, if I find good bets. And uh, so I have a huge turnover of the money. And um, at the end, I know my strategy works in the long run. I have swings. I go down a bit. I go up on a good day. And at the end of a month, uh, I, I mostly uh, achieve to be profitable and at the end of a year um, I can say I triple my bankroll every year so that's okay for me I know there are ways to make it better um, but as I said I, I focus on my working strategy which costs me not much effort and that's the point uh, you can ask me to predict corners you can ask me to predict goals but I can tell you I'm not profitable in this in this discipline and that's why for me it doesn't make sense and I want to tell you that that you understand if someone does this it's a complete uh, nonsense and you can ignore his bets because he's not profitable because it's it's a huge amount of work you have to do if you want to be profitable in only one discipline no matter uh, if you do this with a lot of disciplines um, it's it's a hell of a tracking and a hell of uh, a, a data so um, yeah that's the only way to be profitable in sports betting in my my opinion if you have another opinion I'm interested in that write it down in the comments and let's discuss about different styles of betting and different strategies